Hey, how's it going? You're watching Wolf Mother on Envy, all the way from Australia. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Wolf Mother. Hello! Hi Alicia! Hi! Thanks for having How's us on the show. Going? Thanks Hello. for coming. Our how pleasure. Are you, how are y'all doing today? Doing good. Yeah. Four shows in a row. Yeah. This is the last one, so we'll uh, end with a bang, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, your new record, Victoria's, you released it last week. Yeah. What did you do to celebrate? Uh, oh God, I, I, was, I wasn't well. I wasn't under well. the weather. I, I got hit with a, a flu like two or three days before then, so I was just, I was lying in bed, <laughs> 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 just hanging on for life. It was, uh, it was, yeah, it was anticlimactic. Yeah, it was a, a quiet celebration. Ian called up, he's like, do you want to have a drink? And I didn't even reply to his text because I was just <laughs> out of it. He thought I was like... Yeah, I thought you were hitting the town. <laughs> hitting the town, but I was just like... Oh, God, it was rough, yeah. But it was interesting. The, the day after I went into this radio thing, I, I, I um, went down to get some breakfast the next day. And I'm walking along, and I see... Um, I walk past, and I'm like, that's Adam Sandler. Just sitting there having, <laughs> having breakfast with his really? wife and kids. And I was like, i got to say hi. And I was like, hey, I, you know, I love your movies. And, blah, blah, blah. and I was like... And he was like, oh, yeah, Wolf Mother. I was just talking with one of my buddies yesterday about you guys. Wow. And he was like, and I was just, you just wait for, like, one of those characters from, like, a, from one of his movies to, like, come out of, <laughs> be the waiter and be like, okay, do you guys, like, want the fish? Or, and it was like, yeah, I was kind of tripping. What a coincidence. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. What's your favorite Sandler movie for all of you? Oh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah? I uh, yeah. It's Happy all Gilmore. in the hips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feel the... Yeah, that, that dude who does the thing where he's like, feel the ball, feel the motion. The ball wants to go home. Let the ball go home. It's okay. Just feel the vibe. Lose. Yeah. That dude? You know that guy? Yes. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to get him in one of our videos. Really? Yeah. Still working on it. Still working on it. One day. Yeah. <laughs> one day. Well, for the record, a lot of it is about self-doubt and kind of just getting through things like that, that mm. the hardships in life. So when mm. you do come across something like that uh, for yourselves, how do you get through that tough time? Self-doubt. Um, I think of one of the worst gigs we've ever done <laughs> and that I'm grateful for everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, won't, I won't name it, but it was a complete disaster and no one was there and I just and every time I'm like cruising along and I just go I just say the name of that venue I'm like Mansfield Tavern <laughs> <laughs> things aren't so bad and then everything's amazing how long ago was that show let's not <laughs> 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 yeah that was a, that was a long time oh, ago okay. no, um, yeah but self-doubt yeah you, you always have I think in the creative process like whenever you're doing something new you it's uncharted territory so so you don't know if it's good or not, but you're just trying to see it through. You know, like, my philosophy is, like, just finish it. You know what I mean? Like, if you get, like, if you write, like, a verse or an intro or whatever, and then you go, oh, this is terrible, move on to the next one, mm -hmm. you never, like, get over that procrastination. So I always just try to finish it, even if it's a, it feels like it's terrible. Just finish it and then move on to the next one. And then, you know, a month later, someone's like, the producer's like, that's my favorite song. That's the next hit. <laughs> you know, so you never know. Well, for me, I love yeah. the 70s rock vibes that are shown on the album. For yeah. you, who are some bands that kind of make you want to go a little wild or rock out? Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to go wild. You got to rock out. That's what it's all about. Yeah. If you can't get to that point, then something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, always, we always always try to get that kind of reckless abandon, out of body experience, you know, where you just you lose yourself to it, you know, mm. you know, like whilst we were rehearsing, then we weren't losing ourselves, but we're working towards that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it, helps, it helps having people there, doesn't it? You it know, helps. It's like, yeah, good crowd, good energy, <laughs> good energy, good crowd. 
that fires you up, that gets you going. Yeah. It's like you get them going, they get you going, it's reciprocal. Like, yeah. It's like a seesaw. Yeah. But you're both going up at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know you're pretty psyched about one of the songs off the record, Move Your Mark, being featured on Zoolander 2. Yeah. Have you seen the sequel yet? I haven't seen it. Okay. I haven't had a chance. I was going to go watch it when the record came out, but I caught this thing and I was out of it for a week. Um, yeah. I was going to go see it, but I'm going to wait. We're going to go see it together. Okay. Awesome. He didn't want to go look like a weirdo and sit in the <laughs> cinema by himself <laughs> <laughs> with his popcorn and, oh, yeah, good movie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like families going, can we move away from this man? Mm. <laughs> That's true. My favorite part from that first movie was Merman, and then also, of course, his signature move for you guys. Could you do your Blue Steel impression? Yeah. Yeah? There's the camera. So I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> How about both of you? Uh. <laughs> That's very good. I'll go and then you'll go? Yeah? Me? Yeah? I'm still working on mine. Are you? <laughs> I feel like... Blue Steel in his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> He's like, always blue steel. Mm. You guys do it well. I can't do it without cracking up. It's like, it's very difficult. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We've now yeah. hit the road with Deep Valley in support mm -hmm. of the record. How are the shows treating you? Shows have been great. Every night sold out. The crowd has been amazing. Um, Deep Valley's costumes are amazing. Crazy. We need to, uh, I don't know, work out something. Get, I mean get some tassels going or something but um <laughs> yeah the tassels are impressive there yeah. and the crowds have been fantastic i mean what which one was it um chicago at the metro was yeah awesome great crowd it was a great energy great energy i feel like tonight could be even better okay let's hope hopefully toronto crossed. brings it for you guys yeah yeah well, for me, Wolf Mother are a band that just scream rock and roll. But I was yeah. curious to flip things around. What's something about yourselves that isn't too rock and roll or even a little bit nerdy that would surprise your fans? I love cats and video games. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> What's your favorite video game? Final Fantasy. Okay. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> How about yourselves? Alex. Nerdy. Hmm. Or just something that would surprise your fans, something that's not as rock and roll. Mm. Ooh. Love cold pressed juice. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, I kind of found that song. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, I used to play flamenco guitar. Is that nerdy? That's no, cool. That's, that's, I don't. Yeah. Um, I I'm working on the nerdy stuff. I, I wish I had more of a nerdy streak because it seems like more of an advantage these days because people are like recording everything themselves and working all these pro... I just like... I, I've been doing this for a while and I still am over the moon if I can press record. <laughs> <laughs> and I try not to fall asleep in the process. Yeah. But yeah... Nerd, yeah, I, like, like I love hanging out with nerds. Like when I was at school, I used to hang out at like the library department, but I, and they're into Dungeons and Dragons, and they're all. But I just couldn't geek out enough. Do you know what I mean? I just I didn't have the. You're almost there. Intelligentsia to, to, cross that line, but. But I wish I could. I wish I could go into that, cerebral, land. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see the interaction you have with your fans whether i'm seeing you retweeting things that they mentioned to you or meeting them after shows what's one of the coolest things a fan has given you we got a chopping block oh no that was from the the venue we got a wooden chopping block with wolf mother engraved on it really that was pretty pretty great um some guy's rocking up with a les paul now who wants us to sign it but it's got a picture of Keith Richards on it. It's not even <laughs> Wolf Mother, but he's freaking on our case about it. Um, the best things, any other good things? I, I got a backup bandana from a, from a fan. A backup? Mm. A backup, so this is my normal one, but if something happens, 
Anyone who's into it, anyone who asks to sign a record is always nice. Anyone who like listens to our music and knows a little bit about it's always nice to to see that, you know. Well, outside of music for the band, what's something else that you like doing together? Uh, well, I, I like surfing. That's my thing. Okay. I've gotten into longboard surfing. But uh, there's been... But I haven't really gotten out that much because I didn't want to get eaten by a shark or anything. <laughs> <laughs> there's been a lot of shark attacks. But uh, you, you took me out surfing, tried to show me to get, get into surfing. You got a, a board and yeah, I just failed spectacularly. It was... No, you did, you did all right. Yeah. Oh, I just yeah. felt like I was getting in everyone's way. It, that's the way it is for about the first two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Surfing for me, um, what else? Trying to teach my daughter how to ride a bike. That's what I... I I'm just yeah. like, yeah, I'm just hanging... Most of my time is just hanging with the fam at the moment. Mm. Yeah, getting in family time before... Uh, we hit the road. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know. We're, these guys like, we're, were looking for Greek coffee last night or something. <laughs> <I think. laughs> yeah, yeah, there was a Greek town near the venue last night as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're in Greek town. Alex is What's Greek. What's the so. Greek thing around here? Around here? Yeah. Just have the one that happens to be following Whoa, you guys the past yeah, two nights. <laughs> yeah. What about this place? What's this place is just a lot of fantastic Greek food. Oh, this yeah. is just like mm. Toronto's Greek town. So this whole street... Mm. Wow. Yeah. What's well, for the last question, is there anything you'd want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Uh, thank you for listening to our music. Thank you for coming to the shows. Appreciate thank your you. support. Very, very much appreciative. Keep them rocking in the free world like your fellow Canadian brother, Neil Young. <laughs> Peace out. Just a big thanks to you for your time today. We really do appreciate it, so thank you. Oh, thank our you. My pleasure. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Very and nice to hang and talk about geekiness and <laughs> yeah, yeah. everything from Zoolander to Greek food yeah. <laughs> and remember to everyone viewing you can visit us at amusicvlogia.com for all exclusive interviews features videos and so much more with your favorite bands we'll see you next time